tao overflows what is love this is one of the most inquired understood subject a topic everybody wants to know but nobody understands i will speak various dimensions of it and then finally explain to you in the simplest word that an ordinary a five year old child to the oldest person can understand what is love what is its significance in his or her life love is one of the most significant thing about all human beings their love is always for somebody this is one of the greatest fallacy love is always for somebody love is always addressed and the moment you address your love you destroy it love is inner flowering a seed you are born as a seed when the seed its process of transformation begins seed blossoms goes through the entire process of blossoming and then finally it blossoms and when it blossoms it is open it can dance under the rainfall it can sway itself with the breeze that is blows it can shine radiate the light of the sun and when the flower blossoms butterflies gather and hum around the flower you know why to continue the process of pollination they collect collect the pollen from one flower carry it to the other and a beautiful process of pollination begins so when a flower is blossomed and bees like you and i hum around it or dance around it process of transformation begins continues and attains various dimensions not only that bees gather around dance around the flowers collect the nectar from one flower convert into beautiful nectar so when you are humming around an awakened one whose flower has blossomed you are collecting the nectar from that developing it into a beautiful substance in various forms and you share it with anyone that comes in your com- contact it is as if you are saying but the moment your love is addressed to someone you destroy it and this is what has been happening it is as if you are saying that i will breathe only for you my breath is only for you and when you are there then how can i breathe first you are saying my every breath is for you and when the person is there how can i breathe now love should be like breathing it should be just like the quality in you wherever you are with whom soever you are or even if you are alone even if you are with inanimate objects love goes on overflowing from you love beauty and the fragrance love is the beauty and the fragrance of a flower love is your inner blossoming 
the beauty, the fragrance, the energy field that flows out of you. It should not be narrowed down. A flower has blossomed, it shares its love as beauty, fragrance, luster, and its delicacy. When you narrow down love to such a point that the ocean of love cannot remain there, contained in a narrow stream, you cannot contain the ocean within the narrow boundaries. It is not like a small stream. Love is your whole being. Love is your godliness. That's why Jesus says, God is love, the summum banam. Love is your whole being, your godliness. You should think in terms of whether one is loving or not. My love is not directed towards any particular person. In a moment, whosoever is in front will be affected by the beauty, the fragrance, the beauty, the luster of it, like a flower. You come in front of the flower, you are moved by its beauty and fragrance and luster, you move away, you carry something deep within you. Then someone else passes in front, he too can be affected by the beauty, fragrance and luster of that flower. Then this process continues. And in that process, something begins to happen deep within you. The question of the object of love, therefore, does not arise. With your wife, you love your wife. With your children, you love your children. With your servant, you love your servant. With your friends, you love your friends. With the trees, you love the trees. With the ocean, you love the ocean. With your husband, you love the husband. You are love. Love is your being. Love is not dependent on any object. Flower is not dependent to spread its beauty and fragrance for any particular person. It has blossomed its beauty and fragrance, its luster, its delicacy spreads and goes on like the love that flower is sharing with you. Indeed, love is a radiation of your subjectivity, a radiation of your soul. And vaster the radiation, the greater is your soul, the, the nature. The expense of your soul depends on the radiation. The wider is spread are the wings of your love. The bigger is the sky of your being. You have lived under a common fallacy of all human beings. Now you are asking, am I able to love you? Again the same fallacy. Just ask, am I able to become love. When you are in my presence, you need not think of loving me. If in my presence you still think, so you have not come out of your ordinary fallacies about love. With me, you have to learn just being loving. Of course, your love will reach me too. I will, it will reach others too. It will be vibe surrounding you, spreading all over. And if so many people are simply broadcasting, radiating their love, their song, their ecstasy, the whole place will become a temple. There is no other way of making a temple, a place 
where everyone is radiating the aura of their love. Then the whole area is filled with a new kind of energy and nobody is at any loss. Here all you need to come dance under the clouds of love and be soaked in its drizzle. Around me you can only be soaked in the, as the drizzle of love happens around you. And it is constantly happening. Love is con love constantly goes on drizzling around an awakened one. As the shower of love is absorbed by the earth element, there is unique fragrance in the air. Breathe this fragrance. Breathe this fragrance of love. It's aura surrounding you. Here, around an awakened one, everyone is like a cloud full of love ready to shower any moment. You are showering love. At the same time, you are ready to get soaked in the drizzle and dance under the shower of this love. Life is nothing but an opportunity for love to blossom. If you are alive, the opportunity is there, even to the last breath. You may have missed your whole life, just the last breath, the last moment on the earth. If you can be loved, you have not missed anything in life. Become a single moment of love, it is equal to the whole eternity of love. Remember, love is secondary. Meditation is primary. Yes, I would like you to love yourself. You have to blossom because unless you love yourself, you cannot love anyone else. You do not know what love is if you do not love, if you have not loved yourself, if the flower has not blossomed. But before you can love yourself, you have to know yourself. And the process of knowing yourself is meditation. So meditation is primary. And the miracle is, if you meditate, and slowly and slowly get out of the egocentric identities, out of your personality, you realize your real self. Love will come on its own. You do not have to do anything. It is a spontaneous overflowing, but it blossoms only in a certain climate. And that climate I call meditation. In the climate of silence, no mind, no disturbance inside, absolute clarity, peace and silence, suddenly you will see thousands of flowers have opened within you and their fragrance is love. Love is the fragrance of the flower that has blossomed deep within you. Meditation creates a climate of silence, no mind, no disturbance inside, absolute clarity, peace and silence. And suddenly you will find thousands of flowers have opened within you and their fragrance is love.